It's a travelling column machine with a range of sizes from 2 metres to 5 metres in length, different y-axis and z-axis options and different spindle options as well as table con con configurations. It doesn't really sound everyday, it sounds like it's quite a bit of flexibility. Just looking at the table for example. Yeah, it's, a, it's maybe something that we take for granted, that you have that ability to either use it as a long bed machine yep. or split the machine in zone into half and use pendulum operation and functionality or go the other way and put a rotary table in there, which by the way is a turning table, metre diameter, 400 RPM. It provides a lot of flexibility for those awkward to make components. What about the head itself? Head can come with either um, indexable, five axis indexable to, to, to multiple degree positions or thousandth of a degree position, or you can go full simultaneous five axis. Again, another example is a tool changer. Tool changers, assuming you're using a pendulum configuration, you need a tool changer at each end of the table. Or if you're using a long bed configuration, you can double your tool change capacity by having tool changers at each end of the table. And I understand you can actually sort of split the configuration so you can work on one side? Of course, pendulum functionality set up one side whilst the other side is in production, maximising your spindle utilisation. That's a great insight to the machine. But what sort of market industries, components, materials are you looking at here? Because of the spindle speeds and the performance of the machine, any number of materials, be it hard materials to softer and faster materials, industry becomes more uh, maybe fabrication type places, um, construction equipment, um, usual set of automotive aerospace and that kind of stere stereotypical um, industry sectors but this is more of a flexible, capable production solution. But not just aimed at OEMs, though? Oh, no, no, There's, you'll find that this kind of configuration sits well with, um, I'm going to say, a general subcontractor, though we know what I mean by not that general, general subcontractor. <laughs> OK, then a very quick summary, please, of the Tessa Evo. Flexible, adaptable and affordable.